Kitty Hawk Quora with added Google goodness. Hands up if you can remember the video from last year of the Kitty Hawk flyer. What's turning out to be yet another manned multi-rotor. I thought that video would go viral, but it hasn't. It's only had 66,000 views on its original site to date, which is amazing. That company has stayed under the parapet ever since, but have popped back up today with the launch of the Cora. The Cora is a much larger manned multi-rotor, which they're touting as an air taxi. Not only are they touting it as an air taxi, but they've got the buy-in of the New Zealand government to test fly it and they say they've been flying it since October of 2017. They teamed up with a company in New Zealand, Zephyr Airworks, and they did that in December of 2016 and to be able to test and fly. The CEO of Zephyr Airworks, Fred Reed's not a Johnny-come-lately new kid in town. Uh, he's had 30 years in the aviation industry and he was the founding CEO of Virgin America. Before that, he'd worked with Delta and he was president of Lufthansa. So he seems to know his stuff when talking about moving people around. Again, from the press, Fred Reid remembers the moment when they first went to New Zealand. We had no idea what to expect. They could laugh us out of the room. We were pitching something that sounded like science fiction. But Dr. Peter Crabtree of New Zealand's Ministry of Business Innovation and Employment, MBIE, saw the opportunity immediately. In New Zealand, we know we can't keep using the same old approaches to meet our future challenges. We saw Cora's potential as a sustainable, efficient and transformative technology that can enrich people's lives, not only in New Zealand, but ultimately the whole world. Okay, so this is Google's effort also moving to New Zealand. We've got to remember Amazon is in the UK and Google also has the delivery service running in Australia. It tells us two things. FAA regulations are holding back innovation in America and the second thing which I think is the elephant in the room that's often forgotten is perhaps ITAR restrictions are keeping innovation out of America. If you have an idea in America it belongs to America. So have your ideas outside of the country.